Let me long time like a bitch. Stick your finger in my back door. Ooh. Anyway, speaking of that, um, this isn't a pre E three bullshit video or well, not video, it's audio. <clears throat> Whatever. This is just a, a little bit of a problem that I'm having with the Switch. Not so much the Switch itself, but just Nintendo's inept bullshit. Now, I'm sorry, but I'm really getting tired of... Gee, we're going to bring out a new console, and it's going to be bare-bones bullshit for the first year and a half. I'm sorry, that's crap. You're telling me you couldn't put a fucking browser on that some bitch? You're telling me you couldn't get the fucking, uh... Oh, I don't know, the... the, the the My Nintendo shit up? That's what I want to talk about, is the My Nintendo. Now, when I first got this, I got it a week after it came out. <clears throat> I set it up, you can connect it, you can connect it to, like, Facebook, and you can connect it to Twitter, and I think maybe a few other things, or maybe it was just those, whatever, I can't remember. But you can connect it to My Nintendo. Well, I went to do so, and... There was zero confirmation. There was... I don't even... I may have actually set up a secondary account. That's what it felt like. Because every time I go to my Nintendo, I see my Wii U, I see my 3DS, I don't see Switch. I look down, it's a Switch coming soon. Coming soon? What the, what the fuck have you been doing for the last four months? This damn thing came out in March. You're telling me you got you don't have people who can figure it the fuck out? I mean, what the hell are you guys doing? It doesn't take a genius to translate from Japanese. It's not, it doesn't take a long time to figure that out. What the fuck are you guys doing? Because uh, it goes right along with the whole, oh, gee, we're not going to have voice chat. We're not going to have online, you know ready service, I mean, they have the free stuff, but we're not going to have the, the paid stuff until next year, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it just feels so inept, like, what the fuck were they doing, what are they doing, I mean, seriously, they're obviously not creating games, <laughs> okay, I mean, let's be honest, ARMS was a launch title that they jerked off for three months, four months, Splatoon was a launch title that they jerked off for five months just to try to stretch it out so it looks like, oh, there's, there's a steady stream of games. Give me a break. Then you get me started with that. But this whole freaking thing, when I set up my Nintendo, I had to start over scratch with the me. Now, I was expecting, okay, I type in my information. It says, ah, oh, there you are. Here's your credit card information. Because I do it on the Wii. The Wii, the Wii U is like, hey, motherfucker, how you doing? Okay, type in your password. Da, 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 da. And it's like four digits or four whatever letters or whatever the hell it is. You type it in. And it says, do you want to proceed? I'm like, sure. Okay. You go to the switch, it's like, bah, da, da, da. banging his fucking head against the wall. I mean, what the hell is that? We just now recently got where we'll register the fucking uh, credit card information or we'll remember the shit. Are you kidding me? What kind of an app bullshit are you guys running here? I don't understand that. No. Look, I get certain things are going to take time and blah, blah, blah. But give me a freaking break. You're telling me they couldn't have a damn app that says, Oh, guess what? We're going to link this app with your Wii U a fuck count, and all the games that you bought can carry the fuck over. You're telling me you can't do that? Well, we got a unified account now. I don't know, my shit's been unified for a while. You know how I know? Because I had all those stupid little cards that came in the case. Remember when, remember when you'd buy a game and it actually had a case and it had actual shit in the case? It had a manual and, you know, shit. Remember all that stuff? And it had those little cards and you go in and you register the shit. Remember all the games that I registered Nintendo? Remember that whole list of shit you had on your website that said, yeah, this motherfucker owned this, 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 and this? Remember all that fucking shit? Oh, but we don't know how, we don't have a unified account. I, the shit's been unified since day one. You're a bunch of fucking liars. You can kiss my dick. And that's all I'm going to say on that. That's all the fuck I'm going to say on that. I mean, there's no reason at all they can't do that. None. Zero. 
I could understand, okay, there's no disk drive, fine. So all my disk games, which are, that's bullshit, by the way, but whatever, fine. But all my digital shit, day one, boom, should be right there. You know why? Because, guess what? You don't need a new fucking virtual console. Give me access to the one that I have now through the Wii U. That's it. The whole library's there. All it has to do is download to the system. That's it. That's it. That's all. It's like, Dad, we gotta do new features. Okay, fine. The new feature is great. Let's take Mario 3 and put it online. How the hell that's gonna work? I don't know. What, are you gonna have a little little green Mario that's supposed to be Luigi? Okay, great. Wow. whoop de fucking do Okay, whoop de fucking do But hey, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Fine. You want to do that? Fine. But there's zero reason you can't just say here. Here. Take this and it will access your account there. So everything that you've purchased, you can re-download to your Switch. But no, we don't want you having that. We don't want you to download it there because you could download it to your, your Wii U and then sell your Wii U. And you could actually, you know, make profit off it or something. Uh, give me a fucking break. How many people are actually going to do that? Well, you have to transfer and do 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 Dude. Anybody else who does that, you look at Marvel app, you look at DC app, you know what? You buy a fucking comic book, you can download it to a hundred fucking different things a hundred different times. Okay. Now, granted, they're four dollar comic books versus sixty dollar games. Okay, I can understand that, but still, give me a fucking break. Give me a freaking break. It's like, I don't know, it's just, whatever. But they, they could easily set it up. They could easily set that shit up. They could. There's zero freaking reason they couldn't just put that on there. I mean, there's none. There's absolutely zero freaking reason. Other than the fact they're just being dillweeds. I mean, that's, that's basically the bottom line right there. Well, you know what? People taking it and downloading it to a whole bunch of different stuff and then selling it. Really? Really? Seriously? This is from a company who's selling Donkey Kong meth for $5. You're worrying about people reselling your shit? Are you kidding me? And another thing, it's time for a new pricing structure. I'm going to say that right now. NES games need to be 99 cents. Don't care. SNES games can be $2.99. Uh, N64 need to be $4.99. And GameCube need to be $9.99. And the Wii U stuff, yeah, that can be $9.99 too. Because if we're, going to, if we're talking mobile and bullshit, okay, you... Dude, I can get half those freaking games on a browser for free. I and mean, it may not be necessarily the most legal thing, but I can do it. Okay, plus, plus, guess what? Newsflash, ding, 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 ding. Most people who are Nintendo fans have already bought these fucking things 85 times. How many times do I need Super Mario Brothers? How many fucking more times do I need it? Yeah, I want it on the new system so I can have access to it. Other than that... How many freaking times do I need to rebuy the same damn freaking game, Nintendo? Give me a break. I'll give you 99 cents, let me port the fucking thing over and get the fuck out of my way. I'll give you 99 cents. I'm not paying any more than that. Okay. No, they want to do this, uh, what, what's it being dubbed? Uh, Netflix? Okay, I can dig that. Netflix, I like that. You pay the subscription, and you can you can get the games. As long as you got the subscription, you can keep the games. That's great. I like that. I like that. It should be like that. I can dig that. That would be a reason to, to freaking pay $20 a month. It sure as fuck ain't to play online, I can tell you that. But, I mean, seriously, how many people are going to be playing ARMS a year from now? Maybe a few really dedicated loser kids, maybe. I'm going to be done with that within, like, a month. If that. And then Splatoon. I mean, how, how long are you playing Splatoon? How many people are still playing Splatoon 1? Really? 
Really? How many people? I don't think there's that many people still playing the first one. I really don't. I mean, I'm sure you go in and you might be able to find a, a, a match because it's Nintendo, so it's hard to tell. But, you know, hey, whatever. But, you know. But like I was saying, this stupid freaking setup that they have with the, my Nintendo, they need to get that shit up and going. I'm sorry. Those games that I purchased, I bought a bunch of games on, on the Switch. Well, not a bunch, but I bought, like, what? Let's see, what, what games do I have? I have uh, Little Inferno, which was 10 bucks. I have Mario Kart, which was 65 fucking dollars. Don't even get me started with that shit, especially after I paid $65 on the Wii fucking you, and then bought all the DLC, and I fucking buy it again like an idiot. Because, well, there's nothing else to play. So, alright, fine, whatever. So I got that. I've got, uh... Lego City again, which is bullshit, because it keeps crashing, and I don't know what the fucking problem is. It's pissing me off. I purchased that again, because I had that on the Wii U. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, Wonder Boy, which I still gotta finish. Um... What else did I get? Oh, I obviously I got Zelda. Which I ironically bought that on Wii U as well, but... Well, I bought, I bought it on Wii U because I wasn't expecting to get the system. And I obviously wanted to play Zelda, so... And then a week later, I ended up getting the damn system, and it was like, oh, you fucker. And then I had nothing to play on the system, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll get Zelda. And I'll start over. So I, I, I got about... Well, I, I beat it, actually. I beat the fucking thing on uh, the Wii U. I think I had, like, 80... 80-plus 80 temples, and... You know, like, 150 Korok seeds, and... I had most of it done. I mean, it was, like... 85%. 82% done. And I was like, well, screw it. I'll go over, get the freaking Switch version. So, yeah, I got that. So, shit, there's, like, three sixty-five dollars games right there. I mean, it's got to be worth a couple points and shit, at least. Anyways, what pissed me off about this... Is I've been really, really digging Pikmin lately. I've been wanting to play Pikmin. And I don't... 3 is okay... I like 3, but I just something about the original Pikmin. I love the original Pikmin. I wasn't a fan of Pikmin 2. Wasn't a huge fan of it. It was okay, but it felt very generic, which it was. You know, that was the whole point. It was a generic game. You know, the whole going to the caves, which just randomly generated, and you were, you were generic, basically. So, eh. You know, I still I have a, I have a fond memory of the first one, getting all the way to what is it, day thirty, and I couldn't freaking beat it because I didn't have enough parts, and it was like I had to start over. And then I challenged myself to get it. Whatever the world record is, I think it's like nine days or fourteen days, whatever it is. I actually did that myself, like within the first couple weeks. It was pretty impressive. I was definitely one of the first to do it. I mean, I was. That, guy, that was very fucking cool. I, I remember doing that. And I was like, because people were bragging about oh, like a handful of people. Oh, do, 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 do. And it was just, it was cool to be a part of that. So, anyways, whatever. So, anyways, I buy the freaking thing. So he's a four. Yeah, I bought it on the first, which was th was Thursday. Yeah, I got it Thursday. I was gonna get it Friday. And I figured, what the hell, get it get it when I can, you know. <sighs> And I then go on to my Nintendo today, and I see that they have this Hey Pikmin, which is the 3DS version that's coming out next month. And they have a special freaking deal where you can get Pikmin 1 for Wii U, the one I just bought, for 30% off. Of course, my Switch never notified me of such dastardly things. Never notified me of, oh, gee, asshole, you might want to be interested in this. Because the fucking thing doesn't know who I am. Because I go in there and it's like, oh, recommended for you because you like this or whatever the hell it was on the My Nintendo. It actually said recommended for you. And it's like, Pikmin, 30% uh, off the original Pikmin. Oh, you know me so well, Nintendo. Too fucking bad you couldn't notify me on my goddamn new system, you stupid assholes. 
you, you know, pay $300 for the fucking thing and it doesn't even notify you of anything. It's like, what the hell? You're telling me you can't get somebody to go click, click and figure that shit out? Seriously, what else are they doing over there? Like I said, they're not, they're obviously not making any new games. Get all this trickle down bullshit, okay? Oh, they're working on this, working on it. Well, they ain't working on the things that matter, I can tell you right now. <sighs> I mean, seriously. I'm sorry, these test fires and test punches and test bullshit, they need to knock that shit off. They want to do a weekend where they turn the fucking servers on, you turn them on for 24-7, you shut the fuck up with that. That is so stupid. Who don't even get me started. Well, you can come up with as many retarded excuses as you want for why they do it. It's still retarded excuses at the end of the day. I'm sorry. Nobody does that. No one does that. No one. No major company does that. They turn it on for an hour and then turn it off. Like, there's a test fire weekend going on right now, I think. I think this is like... Number two, I think it's going on for this weekend. I don't know what fucking times it is. I think, let's say Sunday, I think it might be one at eight. I could be wrong. It may have been earlier in the afternoon. I don't freaking know. Because then I got to get out the slide rule and carry the one and try to figure out what the fucking time zones are. Because, you know, they're in California, I'm in New York, so I gotta, I gotta add three or duck three or, you know, stand on my fucking head and count to four, whatever the hell. So stupid, just turn the fucking thing on. Keep it on for like three hours. Four hours, whatever. So yeah, you know what, from five o'clock to eight o'clock, whatever fucking time zone you're in, you can play. Whatever. I mean, come on, don't be stupid, Nintendo. And, of course, like I said, they got stupid excuses why they do it. I don't know, Microsoft doesn't do it, Sony doesn't do it. You know, hey, whatever. Whatever. I mean, seriously, can you imagine Activision doing that shit for, like, a Call of Duty? Like, oh, yeah, Call of Duty, uh, beta, it's only going to be on for an hour a day. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? The amateur hour, Nintendo. Figure it out. Ding, ding, ding. That's the morning bell, motherfucker. That ain't me. <sighs> Whatever. But yeah, the freaking... Uh, my Nintendo account just pisses me off. Because, like I said, it didn't know who I was. Didn't know my credit card. Didn't know my me. Didn't even act like it had linked to my account. I don't even know if it linked to my account. I still don't know. It feels like... Like I said, it feels like I had actually created a secondary account by mistake. Like, my, my Wii U and my 3DS are connected. Straight up connected. I see them. I go there and it's like, oh, you 3DS, you bought this game, you bought that game. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Here's the points you got for it. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. You got a little silver, a little gold, a little platinum. Shove it up your ass. You can buy some fucking rewards that are digital bullshit. Remember when we used to sell really cool rewards? Of course, they were never as cool as the Japanese ones, but that's okay, because Nintendo's fucking retarded. I'm sorry, NOA is so butt-dumb stupid. Uh, they are just butt-dumb stupid on, on multiple frequencies. They have this store in New York City, yet, um, unless they changed it within the last couple years, I don't think you can actually order stuff from there. Like, you, you can't... There's, why they don't have an online store that says, gee, you want to buy a Pikmin fucking plushie? No. I don't see why the, why you don't want to make money, Nintendo. Now I got to import that shit from Japan for like 40 bucks? Why don't you fuckers import it from Japan and save me 40 bucks? Okay. You know, seriously. And then they're going to sell the shit, they're going to sell the t-shirts, and the little hats, and the little pins, they're going to sell all that shit in New York City at their little store. Put the fucker online so I can order from home. Dude, I'd be giving them fuckers 50 bucks a month. I mean, my whole house would be decked out in plushy beanie baby bullshit. A little Mario and a little Zelda over here. There's a fly in my house, you son of a bitch. Get away from me. Good damn fly. Get out of here. Get out of here, you son of a... I swear to Christ. Buzzing around my fucking head. It's a big, fat, stupid one, too. The ones keep banging in the wall. You hear thump, 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 thump. It's... Oh, God. Things I gotta deal with.
No, seriously, why the hell that shit is not online? Again, unless, unless they came up with an online presence within the last couple of years, I haven't checked it. I haven't checked their website. I, I don't even know if the store still exists. Of course, it probably doesn't because you actually have to go to New York City. Who the fuck goes to New York City? Who? I'm not going to New York City anytime soon. <sighs> Whatever. And don't even get me started with this stupid voice chat. Where you gotta hook it up to... I mean, to use voice chat in Splatoon... You have to hook the system, the, the switch... To... I don't even know what it is, it's like a dock. You have to hook it to the dock. I'm not even talking the dock that it's in to go on the TV. You have to hook it to this special dongle thing... That then branches out to, I think, what, your headset, which isn't wireless, so you have to have a cord to your headset, and you know damn well the cord is going to be like three feet long, which means you got to have the switch literally shoved up your ass to even use it. Oh, and then there's another, another uh, cord that goes to your smartphone, your cell phone, or whatever the hell it is, so you can use your app. So you can actually voice chat through the app through your phone. Are you fucking kidding me with the unbelievably retarded idea? Who the hell? That harkens back to GBA with the stupid connectors. Like when you're sitting there trying to play that uh, Zelda game or that uh, what was it Final Fantasy game, and you got you got your your GBA. You got I I we, dude. Oh my god, we did that one time. We did it one time. We had two GBA systems that had connector cords each, connector cords each, to the system. It had power cables each to the Game Boys. And it was a complete friggin' mess. I had cords wrapped around my leg, I had cords wrapped around your head. I mean, it was it was a complete disaster, and here's Nintendo doing it all over again, because it didn't work the first time, so they're gonna try to do it again. I don't know what this is, and you listen, Nintendo fanboys can make any excuse they want. That is a stupid, 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 stupid setup. It would be an ideal setup. Plug it into your fucking switch. Or better yet, have it be wireless, because I don't know about you, but my switch is across the, across the way. I would need at least a 10-foot cord for the headset. So I, my headset would need a 10-foot cord. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. It'd be okay if you're playing portable. Sure, because you're right there. It's in your hands. Fine. But if I'm playing on TV... And I want to use the headset. It needs to be wireless, guys. Sorry to break it to you. This is 1804. Ding, 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 ding. Check your calendar, fucker. Okay. Get with the times. So, yeah, that's going to be a freaking nightmare. That's going to be completely a joke. It's going to be a complete joke. And, well, not going to be. It is a complete joke. You look at the setup. They have a freaking visual. They have a, a little uh, picture thing that they did. A, a diagram. A dis, you know, a what the freaking do. That is so stupid. You're telling me grown adults at Nintendo sat there and like, ho, 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 and high-fived each other and thought this was a great idea. Are you kidding me? Dude, I... I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't fucking know because you've got to be kidding me with that shit. You've got to seriously be kidding me. No, hear, my, hear the words. Grown adults sat there and said, yeah, this is an idea. Now, I could see maybe doing it, maybe, if we're talking just portable. But if I'm sitting here on my TV, in, in my, my chair and shit, I don't have time to be hooking cords up and fucking around just to get voice chat. You know what you do with the PS4? You take your little headset, you plug it into the 
the, the USB drive that's right in front of the system, and you put it on your head and you sit the fuck down. That's what you do. You sit the fuck down and you go yippity yip 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 and people hear you. Okay. Now I've got to get up. I've got to add all this freaking bullshit cords and stupid shit and dongles and dangles and whatever. And then I got to pray to God. Pray to God. Dear Jesus, pray to God that the fucking cord can reach from where my switch is, and it's not that far away, but, no, you know, most of these stupid systems and shit give you, like, two inches of cord, and I gotta pray that that fucker can reach from my Wii U, or, my, excuse me, my switch, to my head that's in the chair, probably about five feet away. And, of course, it would be nice to have an extra five feet, at least, bare minimum, so that I'm not sitting there with my head cranked to the side with two inches of cord pulling at my fucking earlobes while I try to, you know, get as much, get a couple extra inches of cord from this son of a bitch. So, just stupid. Just straight up freaking retarded. I mean, retarded is not even the right word. It's not. It's, whatever, man. <sighs> so I have mixed feelings about their online givings. Okay, I like Netflix, and I they, I think shit, shit they should market that. They should call it Netflix because that's a great idea. Or Nin, Ninfli No, Netflix sucks. I like Netflix. Netflix is a cooler name. Nintendo Entertainment System Flex, basically. That's I like that name. They should go with that. <sighs> I like that idea, although I want it to be expanded to basically most everything. Um, they definitely need to do NES and SNES, and maybe N64. Because let's be honest, how many N64 games are they going to have up there? Ten, ten. Ooh, they can they can put ten on there. They could totally do that. They don't have to get cute with that shit. Although the only problem is I don't think they're doing Netflix idea. I think what they're doing is you're gonna have your shitty virtual console that's gonna trickle out, you know, one crappy title at a time, one another crappy title at a time, balloon fight. Make sure we gotta get balloon fight out there. Balloon fight is the shittiest stupid fucking game on the face of the planet, and Nintendo seems to love it. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, but you can play balloon fight online. You know what you can also do? Uh, not, not play Balloon Fight. Play anything else. Play Superman sixty four. Okay, fuck you. For the record, those who don't know, that was a like worst game ever created. Um, but seriously, the, what they really need to do is have your basic Virtual Console. Have it tied in with Netflix, and it needs to be Netflix, fuck you. And then have whatever bullshit they're going to do with the extra online features of the monthly install games. Like you're going to get a game or whatever. I think it's... I'm not, I'm not even sure. It acted like you could get maybe up to three games per month, which I don't know how they're going to do that, but... Whatever. <clears throat> and you're going to have online features. So you'll have old NES games with online features. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Interesting. Um, whatever. Mario World would be kind of cool. I don't know how that would work. Exactly, but... Whatever. <sighs> because the original Mario Brothers, like Super Mario Brothers, somebody would play one level... And then the other person will play the other level, dressed as Mario, dressed in green. Which is supposed to be Luigi, but it was still Mario. We all knew it was Mario. You know. So how is that going to work? Or are they going to reformulate the whole game and have it be where you're running together in tandem and shit? I don't know. I don't know how that shit's going to work, because it's like... I play a level, you play a level, I play a level, you play... How, how fun is that? That's not going to be all that fun. 
And especially when you, especially when you can't voice chat. I mean, who's going to do that? Who's going to hook up all that bullshit just to voice chat? I mean, we'd be better served taking our freaking tablets and just going on Skype or some stupid shit. Okay. That's how stupid it is. Actually, that would be a far easier solution. You realize that? Just take your tablet, sit it over by your chair, and just yak into that fucking thing. It would be a far better solution, especially if you want to do it with friends. Now, if you want to do it with like, random people online, eh. I don't think you really need to. Even a game like Splatoon, it's not that you know intuitive as far as... Like, you, you need to cooperate with people. I mean, the whole point is you either spray the ground or you shoot at people. You can do both. So if you got a little kid on the thing, he can just shoot and he's still being productive. So you don't really need to do that. I mean, yeah, maybe they throw in a Call of Duty or something on there. You might want to communicate with friends, okay. But, again, you'd be better off with a freaking uh, tablet. Or just taking your phone and do, doing Skype. Having a Skype conference with your friends. I mean, you, that would just be better off. I don't even... It's so stupid. It's just dumb. It's retarded. The whole setup is convoluted and it's retarded. I, I don't understand why they want to go that route. Oh, my God. Jesus, Nintendo. Hire me. I could figure this shit out for you. Okay? Hire anybody. Hire any basic fan who plays this shit. It's like, who are they hiring over there? You see all these, these emo kids in leather jackets and weird-ass haircuts working there now. You're telling me these motherfuckers know nothing about gaming for the last 25 years? They've all been under rocks with Nintendo logos on them? Seriously? You're telling me no one sits there and says, Hey, this is a really dumb fucking idea, guys. I play. A, I have a PS4, guys. I play that, you know? And it really is cool and it works. Why don't we emulate that? Or at least do something similar. No, let's take the most stupid idea imaginable and we'll run with that. Let's take voice chat, put it on a cell phone, and add a dongle. I mean, seriously, do you realize that if I want to play a game of Splatoon, I have to get my tablet or cell phone or whatever, download the freaking app, get the stupid headset, plug the headset into the Switch, plug the or plug the dongle into the switch, plug the cell phone into the dongle, dangle, dongle, dongle, where the fuck they are, then plug the headset in as a three-way pile of shit, and then pray to God there's enough cord to get to the chair to sit there. Now, I suppose once it's all set up, maybe, maybe it's meant to be, but then you gotta fuck with your phone, and it's just, what the hell? Who designed that? Honest to God, I could, honestly, Nintendo, seriously, I could make you a billion dollars in ten minutes. Just just hire me. I, I can do it for you. If I don't make Nintendo money, I will work for free. I will give you money, Nintendo. I will monthly give you money. It won't be a lot of money, because I don't have a lot, but I'll give you... If, if I fail, I will pay you. That's how fucking confident I am that my ideas are better than your ideas. Okay? I mean, God. You realize that there are that there are fans who come up with better ideas than these people in these multi-billion dollar corporations. How is that possible? Because we play the shit, we use the shit, we interact with the shit, and we're like, what the fuck? I, I, I don't understand. It's like, it's like some sort of miracle. It's like, you know these people are interwoven into this stuff. This is what they do. This is their life. This is their day. They go to work and they're like, okay, how can we get this up and running? And they're dealing with it and they're, they're, they're having board meetings and they're, they've got little whiteboards and they're writing shit and they got post-it notes all over the fucking place. And this is the best they can come up with. Yet, within five minutes, I already came up with an idea. Wireless headset, Nintendo. Uh, bleh. You plug it into the switch, and you go from there. Why is that so hard? Well, it, it takes resources, and do, do, do. whose fault is that? I didn't design the damn thing. Uh, okay, let's be honest. The Wii U was a piece of shit, basically from day one. But they've done 
zero with it. They have done zero with it for at least four years. They've had a few hit or miss games. Uh, you know, Star Fox being like the last shitty ass game that they came up with. And they really haven't done anything with it since, like, Smash Brothers. I mean, really, they haven't done much with it. A few games, that's about it. There's, there was no system updates. I mean, like, uh, interface updates. Like, Microsoft, with their Xbox, like, every November they come up with a new thing and they, they reinvigorate the system. I mean, shit, when they did that with, uh, when they took away the blades and came up with the new, uh, Whatever that weird uh, avatar thing was, it was a little annoying, but it basically took your old shitty system, which was getting stale, and made it feel like a brand new system. You know, whether it was good or bad with the avatars, but that's, you know, whatever. And again, they took away the blades, but again, it felt like a new system, and it was like, wow, I, I like this. It's may not be what I would have chosen. I would have liked the blades back, but hey, it feels new. It's fresh. Did they do that with the Wii? No. Same interface since day one. Did they do that with the Wii U? Nope. Same interface since day one. Watching the Mii's blah, 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 run down the fucking screen. Nothing new. No, I would have... I talked about this in another clip. I would have added Nintendogs to that shit. So you see those Mii's running down with these little puppies? self-promotion right there you're gonna have a whole bunch of, you're gonna have at least 10 million kids looking at that saying oh my god I want a puppy okay it, it's self-promotion and you click on the the character you tap on the screen the tap on the touchpad it calls it up you tap on the puppy and then you rub the puppy's head and a little ching a little bone a little ching over this head you get two points they get a point and every time you do it, you get more points. The more points you get, you go into the actual game and you buy stuff. Now, of course, there'd be stuff in game that you could get points too, but you could get like maybe up to 25 points a day. Just pet the little puppy, give the puppy some, you know, give him a treat. You know, do the animation, have the animation in there. That would have been amazing. Would have been fucking phenomenal. It would have self-promoted the game. Honestly, God, everybody who looked, who would see that, and you see the Mies running down when you, bling, bling, when the game would start up. Okay, and you see all these Mies running, the Me Parade, blah, 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 running down the fucking uh, screen. And they all, and, and you know, 25% of them have little puppies chasing them. Okay, I'm telling you right now, that would have been a number one seller. Anybody who had the system would want to have that happen. You'd want to see your me and your puppy interact. Why that is not a thing yet is beyond me. Literally me. I mean, seriously. Where is the me Nintendogs stuff? Where is that? My me should be with my dog running around in a theme park or not a theme park, but like an actual park with other people online and just dicking around with other people. It should be a casual experience. Like you want to team up with your friend, you get up with your friends, you put the headset on, the wireless headset, by the way, and you can chat and you got the dogs and you got you just come into the park. Maybe you don't have a dog. Maybe just somebody wants to come in with their me and kind of just puddle around. Make it like a little, uh, like a fair. You know, you can go and you can do stuff. Maybe there's little games. There's like, I mean, they they have, uh, shit, they had little games in um, uh, Lego City where you they had the little basketball game. You walk up and you, you, you hit the hoops. They had the little bouncy thing. I mean, you could do stuff like that. I mean, maybe make it a little more intricate, but, you know, just dick around, take your little me and walk around and have the dogs and rrr, rrr, rrr. I mean, there's a whole slew of shit you could do with that. Why is that not a thing? Why is that not a thing yet? Yet I can as a disembodied figure looking into the screen, have the dog come up, put his little paws in the front of the screen and go <laughs> okay, no. Bullshit. Bullshit. Why is my me not in there playing catch with the fucking thing? Why is that not a thing? Why, why, why have no one come up with that yet? 
I mean, it's a no-brainer. And then you put it on the Wii U. And like I said, the Mii Parade. You come down and you see these adorable little dogs, these little Mii's and their little dogs, and they're running at their side. And they're running around, and your Mii's standing next to the game, and the dogs running around their feet, and, you know, da 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 Maybe the Mii will throw something, and the dog will chase it. And you'll have all these little dogs just running around on screen. Now, granted, you may not have, you may not be able to have as many Mii's on the screen, but, you know, whatever. Or maybe, maybe they just come down, stand there, and the dog stands next to you, and when you click on it, then the dog can run around. That way you can, alloc you know, allocate the resources to do that. So when you click on a person, then the dog starts being animated and running around, and maybe, you know, whatever. You can interact with the me, you can interact with the dog, it helps you in your game, it gives you points, you can buy stupid shit, you little... Now... I don't know if they had enough, I don't know if there's enough system resources where, okay, maybe the dogs wearing a hat, or they weren't a little bone or hair or something, or like on their ears. I don't know if you could do that kind of stuff, but, you know, you don't need to. I mean... Because it would be kind of odd if you clicked on it and it was just like, let's say like a little, like I'd have a beagle. You click on my little beagle and all of a sudden he's got these accessories. And that would look kind of weird because it, it would go from, it's just a regular dog with nothing except for maybe a collar. And then, boom, he's got all this shit on it. That wouldn't be cool. So you, you basically would have just a, uh, a typical representation of your dog. You know, whatever. But, I mean, honest to God, why is that not a thing? Why is that not a thing yet? I, I don't know. Because, but anyway, Nintendo needs to get, get their shit in gear because, I mean, the system's been out since what? Uh, March, April, May, this is going on June, this is three months now. The system is three months old now. And still no browser, still no uh, virtual console, uh, still no GameCube games, still uh, still no actual games. I mean, right now the system, three months in, still does not have a unique title to call its own. It does not have a unique title. Zelda is on Switch, or uh, Switch, it's on Switch and Wii U. Uh, Lego City, Switch, and Wii U. Most of these games, Switch and Wii U. Um, and some of the new games that are, you know, like Wonder Boy, that's on other systems. Um, you know, it really doesn't have a unique game. It doesn't. Unless, uh, well, unless the Tetris, I'm not sure. Is that on PlayStation? I, can't, I don't know if that's on PlayStation or not. Probably not. But okay, that might be like the only unique title if if it's not on other systems. That and the uh, Clippers, Clipper Snippers, Snipper Snappers, whatever the fuck it is. Those are the only two games that are unique to the system until Arms comes out next week. <clears throat> Arms is going to be the first major title that's actually, you know, specific to the system. So. <clears throat> And even Splatoon 2 is kind of it's kind of more of the same, so it's not not really that big of a deal. I mean, I don't know if they did enough to make it stand out from the original. Like, oh, this is like really different. Which I mean, you could say, well, no, actually, it's not true. I was gonna say I was gonna use Call of Duty as the example, but Call of Duty has a different story. It has different stuff. Where this, I don't know how deep the story is. I never played the original. So I don't know. Maybe it's got a really deep story. I don't know. Um, but is it really that much different? Because it looks a lot the same. It doesn't look like it really changed all that much. Maybe a couple modes here or there. That it feels more like an update than an actual sequel. Maybe it's just me. But again, I never played the original, so I don't know. I've heard other people say that who've played the original. So I don't know. I'll just take their word for it. But, you know, I guess it is. It's number two, but... <sighs> yeah, the system's not going to be, like, really, it's not, it's still going to be kind of in limbo until Mario gets out. 
But once Mario's out and it's got an established Mario title and a Zelda title, um, even though it was on Wii U, then then the shit's gonna start to settle down. It's gonna start to get you know. It's gonna be, you know, whatever. Because again, like right now, it's just the games are kind of hit or miss, or like, eh. You want to play some more Wii U games that you've already bought, eh? You know. So uh, next year should be fairly good. A year from now should be fairly good. Because you'll have Zelda DLC. I keep, I swear to God, I keep hoping that they're going to bring out more DLC for Zelda. They're going to bring out like a, a pack two. I don't mean pack two is in part two of the original pack. I mean more DLC after that. Like DLC in the 2018. Because um, that game deserves to continue to move on and grow and become a bigger uh, thing. Because... Well, first off, the game, it doesn't feel Zelda to me on any level. It feels, I mean, Hyrule Warriors felt more of a Zelda game than that does. It just, it feels like a really awesome game with a Zelda skin. The story was kind of eh. You know, just overall it was kind of eh. A lot of the main characters weren't there other than Beetle. Who the fuck cares about Beetle? He's a douche. Nobody cares. The guy plays with bugs for fuck's sake and sells you arrows. That's about it. But as far as like any mainstay, there were really not a lot of mainstay characters. I mean, you, had, you got Zelda, the King, and Ganon. Oh, and Link. Who doesn't even wear the green tunic? So, it, it feels weird. It just feels off. Like, for example, Majora's Mask is not a good Zelda game. It's a great game. I love it, but it's not a good Zelda game. It's not the best Zelda game there is, but it's a very cool game. This Breath of the Wild feels like that. Really awesome game, not a great Zelda game. As far as like what you expect from a traditional Zelda game. Now, you, you contrast that with, let's say, Wind Waker, or... Ocarina of Time, you know, okay. You know, it is what it is. So I want more of a traditional Zelda game, which they have a great template. They could easily take what they have there and just continuously add story uh, chapters and continue on. Maybe add a new item. Shit, add the hook shot. Add that in. That would be cool. And even if they had to work like a new... Because what they could do is like what they did with Luigi U. You have Mario U and then Luigi U. And then when you start up the game, you have a choice. Do you want to go to Mario U or do you want to go to Luigi U? You go to Luigi U, you go to do all that stuff. They could do something like this where it's like, okay, you have your vanilla game. And then you have your DLC pack 1 story mode. Next story mode. You know, so on and so forth. And they could do a ton of stuff. They could do a low rule version. They could do Majora's Mask. They could revisit that. They're putting in Majora's Mask into the game so the asset is there. Um, you know, why not? Why not revisit that? They could easily do that and do a really cool story about it, too. Of course, Nintendo's not really known for their story because that story, w I'm sorry, Breath of the Wild story was garbage. Straight up garbage. Now, what I would have done, I would have made it a time travel freaking game. Because when they were showing all the trailers, it's like you see the Master Sword, it's all fucked up, it's all, you know, decrepit. And you're thinking, what the hell? Well, what they should have done, instead of making the Master Sword decrepit when Link fell and had to go into stasis for 100 years or whatever in the re revival tank, whatever it was he was put in, instead of having that be the case, why not have the sword look like that now, so when he pulls it out, it's all fucked up, and he has to reinvigorate it. How? By going into the past. And what does he do when he goes into the past? It's kind of like when Link went from like a child to the adult. So he, he's in the current timeline, or the current 
time, like when he wakes up, and then he goes in the past, and then the sword is back to normal again. That would have been kind of cool. That would have kept your sword from being overly used, because they had the, the, the sword where it would run out of power and have to recharge. Well, you could take that out of the game, which was just stupid, and have it be, okay, you can use your Master Sword in the past, and then when he comes to the future, or back to the present time, you know, it's still fucked up. Until the very end of the game, where he uh, can fix it, and then go beat Ganon with it. That would have been so much cooler. And if they did a time travel thing, kind of actually very much like what they did with uh, Twilight Princess, when you go to the uh, Temple of Time and you go through that door. Because that was so cool, because it's like... You see the background, it's all, the temple's all fucked up, but then he opens up that door, and you're, like, you're looking through the door, and you see like the past. That was so cool. Because when I was watching those videos and stuff, it, they had a really cool thing they could have done. Where, okay, he wakes up, and he sees the Temple of Time, it's all banged up and shit, and you see those stupid guardians, those little octopus fuckers, and they're kind of like, climbing over it and they're they're all in, they're like they're in suspended animation kind of like what they did in Wind Waker in the castle and then they he pulls the sword and they kind of all the bad guys kind of come back to life they should have done something like that where they're they're they're, in, they're either in stasis or whatever and he goes back in time and he fixes the problem he fixes what was going on like he, each area he uh like whatever the boss battle, he conquers that area, and that area in the future then gets changed, and you have like this, like the Temple of Time is back to normal, it looks normal, it it's not all banged up, the roof is all fixed and shit, you know, that would have been so much cooler, Where almost like a Chrono Trigger, where it's like you go back in time and you fix the problem, and you go into the future and it's back to normal. And maybe there's people walking around and like, oh, you know, they're, they're living their lives in that area because that area is not, you know, decrepit because again, it's bullshit. They could have done a really cool thing like that. Because they sort of did that with, uh, not sort of, they actually did that with Ocarina of Time. Where when you go into the ranch and you, you get uh, Epona and you beat Luigi... In the little race, and all of a sudden he's he's you know wiggling his head around and stuff because he's he's going nuts because he's being brainwashed or whatever, and he's like, you know, and then you go back to the ranch and it's like it's peaceful again and it's back to normal, and then Mario wants to come back, the whatever they have those characters that look like Mario and Luigi, so what are, what are the what are the, I can't remember their names, you know what I'm talking about anyway. <clears throat> And then Death Mountain, where it's all all fiery and this big swirl, this big swirly shit and clouds, and it's, it's spewing off shit and rocks and boulders. And you go and beat the Dango, the Dango, Fandango, whatever the hell his name is, the stupid lizard fucker. And then all of a sudden it comes back to normal and it kind of settles down. That's what they should have done with this absolutely should have done that they could have had a really cool thing there I mean and now back to the Master Sword what they should have done there like I said you go back in time the Master Sword is, is pristine and you can use it and then you come to the future and then you can't and then at the very end you fix it and you can use it to your heart's content because by then You've played through the entire game. And I understand the whole brittle weapon system. You, you hit it twice and the thing breaks and all oh, shit, gotta get a new weapon. I get that. But at the, I'm talking at the very end. Like the last thing you do before you go face Ganon. Fix the Master Sword. And you have a permanent weapon that you can use all the time. And they could have capped it at 60. Now, they have some... Now, I've seen weapons that are much higher than 60. So, you're going to have better weapons that are brittle. So, you can still have the brittle aspect, but you've got a go-to weapon, no matter what. No matter what, you got a go-to weapon. you got a go-to shield, and you got a go-to weapon. And they should have had a go-to bow. Like, 
after you beat the game, you should keep the light bow. That would be cool. That would be very cool. And they could treat that like a rocket launcher where it's like, okay, you get four major shots and then it has to recharge. So let's say you're beating up on a Lionel, you shoot him, maybe you have to shoot him three times with the light arrow. Like actually hit him like like in a good spot, not just like his arm or his dick or something. Well, you shoot him in a dick, he should be down. I mean, that's just how it is. You know, and then you gotta wait for it to recharge. That would be so cool too. Like to have a really super powerful bow, which I, I think they do sort of have, but you have to have the amiibo, and that's bullshit. Don't even get me started with that stuff. <sighs> I like the idea of the amiibo, but I really wish they would offer the ability to pay with actual money, because I want to I want to get a Pona, and I don't have that stupid amiibo, and I can't get it because. Everybody's trying to sell it and hawk it off $80. I'm not going to pay $80 for a freaking amiibo just to get a Pona. Or if I would go on there and say, guess what? Let me buy the damn thing. You know, two bucks, let me let me download a Pona. You know, or whatever. $1.99, let me let me download that shit. $1.99. Alright, shit. $2.99. Let me download uh Link to the Past outfit. Or link link to or whatever. Ocarina of Time outfit. The whole thing. All three parts. Let me download that shit. You know? Let me download Fierce Deity. Because guess what? If I can't get this stupid... If I don't have money for those fucking amiibo when they come out... I don't even... I can't remember when they come out. Those three Zelda amiibo, Link amiibos... If I can't afford them... I ain't ever gonna get that outfit. Because those some bitches are going to sell, and then the assholes are going to be selling for a hundred bucks. And there's no way in hell I'm going to get it. And they need to stop doing that bullshit. They need to stop that. I will pay you actual money to be able to download all that shit. Hell, I'll pay you five bucks, you can download everything. That's how they should set it up. Four ninety nine, you can download everything. You don't need the Amiibos. You got the Amiibo, it's free. That would be a great compromise. Because I want to get those three Link Amiibos. But if I don't have money the minute they're out, that first run, boom, gone. And, <laughs> you know, so I can't get a Pona. I can't get the Fierce Deity. I can't get whatever the other two offer. Majora's Mask, I want to get that. Probably won't be able to. It's just so stupid the way they have it set up. Because all it does is hinder people who actually want to play the damn game and actually want to go get the Amiibos. All the while these other scalping assholes are making money off this shit. Nintendo's like, oh, whoa, whoa. there's supply and demand, there's supply and demand, it's great. More money for us. Yeah, more money for you. More money for them. But the people who want your shit can't get it. It's stupid. They need to fix that. They really do need to fix that. And if you're a scalper, you're a scumbag. You need to get raped with your shoe. Like, you literally need to get sodomized with a shoe. And that's all I got to say on that. You take kid toys and try to mark them up 800%. Listen, you buy a fucking Amiibo for 12 bucks. You want to sell it for 20 Eh, you know what? More power to you. I don't even care. But you want to try to sell something for like 50, 60 bucks, you can kiss my ass. You can kiss my ass. Freaking stupid. Yeah, I noticed the scalpers aren't going to be buying up uh, this headset for the Switch, selling that for $800. You know, that's not going to happen. That thing's going to be, you know, market value the whole time. Yeah, let a cool Amiibo come out. Oh, no, can't find any of those. Not at reasonable freaking prices. Yeah, right. Sure, uh-huh, yep. Yeah, with that Smash Brothers amiibo, I can't get. Well, first off, why are they attached opponent to the Smash Brother amiibo? That is so stupid. She should have been attached to the Ocarina of Time amiibo. That's all I'm going to say on that. Or screw it, she should be attached to any Zelda amiibo, or specifically Link amiibo. That's all I'm going to say on that. 
Another thing, why the hell don't they have a fierce deity amiibo? Where's Dark Link amiibo? Where's where's that shit? Let's have three amiibo of Link that really aren't that great. I mean, I'm sorry, those amiibos were not that good. You really didn't need whatever the, was it, Twilight Princess or whatever one it was. You didn't need that. You didn't need that. <sighs> whatever. And I'm sorry, but those Smash Brother amiibos suck. They do. The action poses, they suck. Mario with the little fireball, it sucks. I like the one where he's just standing there, personally. It's boring, but I like it compared to that one. The Link one where he's kind of jumping, that's just stupid. It looks dumb. Now, the Samus one looks cool, I admit. That one does look cool. The Zero Suit, that one looks cool. Well, actually, I should say the Samus one, the Metroid one, Samus. That one's cool because she's just standing there. She's got the suit on, she's just standing there with her arms out. It looks cool. But I mean the Zero Suit one where she's kind of in an action pose. I don't know, I'm just not a big action pose fan when it comes to those. It's it's nice, but eh. You know? Whatever. That's just my opinion, whatever. Who cares? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I gotta get some more Amiibo, man. She's... I gotta start collecting them some bitches. I just don't like certain things that are hogtied to the stupid amiibo, and if I don't have them, then I'm sorry. Everything, everything that's not an amiibo should be random. It should be randomly generated, especially if you have, you know, random amiibo. Like if I'm playing a Zelda game and I put in Samus, I should have a chance to get a Pona. I should. Or get an outfit, or get whatever's on the stupid game. Just you know, you're gonna, you're gonna waste my time and make me do it every day. Then guess what? I should have a chance to get everything, and not just well. There's three things locked to this amiibo, and three things to that one, and two things over here, and this is that. Did 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 did. Screw that. Screw that. I should be able to buy one freaking amiibo and unlock everything at some point. Maybe not as frequent. Now if I have one amiibo, maybe it takes me six months to unlock everything. Where if I had two or three that had specific guarantees, like let's say every four times, five times you do it, you're guaranteed at least, you know, a piece of gear or something. As opposed to Maybe every 20 times. I could deal with that. I could take the one amiibo that I have open. that The Link amiibo. And every time I do it, every 20th turn, maybe I get a Pona. That would be cool. Instead of giving a scalper $80 for a freaking, you know, $12 piece of plastic. Screw you. But, you know, hey, whatever. That's just me. Um... But yeah, E3 is shit. It's less than a week, man. Today's Sunday. So, yeah, it's next Saturday, I think. Doesn't it start? I think somebody's got a conference on Saturday. Or is it Sunday? No, it's Saturday. Somebody's got a conference on Saturday. I want to say EA or Ubisoft or somebody. I can't remember. But anyway, it's going to be pretty cool. And speaking of E3, I hope Nintendo does not drop the ball. Because if they're, quote-unquote, just going to talk about things in 2017 and show no hints of 2018, and it's just stuff we already know about, that is going to be boring as shit. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't like Kirby. I'm not a Kirby fan, never have been. I, I don't like Kirby. I'm not a Pokemon fan. So you sit there 20 minutes talking about that shit, you're going to lose me. Okay. Now, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing some more of the remasters that they, they did, like the two Zelda games they redid for Wii U. I wouldn't mind seeing Mario Sunshine be remastered, because that game's a little clunky. You could definitely use an upgrade. I think Pikmin 1 and 2 need to be upgraded, and they should do a trilogy. I'd love to see a Pikmin trilogy on Switch. Oh, that pisses me off. Uh... 
because I just bought it on, on Wii U, which is, the reason I got pissed off, I don't know if even, I can't remember if I talked about this yet, the reason I got pissed off with the My Nintendo account is because I, uh, just bought the damn thing, and then realized I can get a freaking discount. Yeah, I did talk about that, didn't I? Yeah, it was an hour ago. Shit, I'm starting to lose my mind. Whatever. Anyways, I want to see that. I want to see Bayonetta Trilogy announced, or at least one and two, ported over with potential talk of three. That's what I want to see. I want to see the trilogy out. Now, they don't have to do like a package trilogy, but I want to see all three on there. Um, and I want to see remaster of Metroid Prime. I don't want multiple control options. None of this Star Fox Zero bullshit. Where you're force fucked into doing that stuff. Don't get me started with that shit. Don't even get me started with that. I was so excited for that fucking game. And that game was just a swift kick to the nuts. I swear. Oh my god. I'm, dude, I'm salty about that shit. I am literally salty as shit. I'm, I'm more salty than Lot's wife. Fuck that. That pisses me off. God. Because you know what? I said, you know what? I, I said to myself, I don't care that it's a retread of Mario 64. Mario 64 is a great game. I don't care. I want to play that. I want to kind of... Because it was basically a remaster. Essentially. It was a remastered version, if you will, with some tweaks. And I'm like, I can deal with that. I can deal with the fact that we're going through Corneria and it feels very similar. I want it to feel very similar. I want it to... It almost feels like an alternate universe version of Star Fox. Just one where the freaking ship is retarded and you can't control it. But hey, whatever. You know... I, I I made excuses. As a fanboy, I made excuses and said, hey, guess what, Nintendo? A little lazy on that end, but hey, I don't care. I can live with it. And then when they do, what do they do? They got to throw those stupid motion control, gamepad, bullshit controls in there. Now, I'm sorry. I pay 60 bucks not to sit there and look at a six-inch screen, Okay. No, yeah, if you're taking it portable with your Switch, that's one thing. Okay, you expect that. But, no. Not when I got the big-ass TV sitting there. Oh, it's a cockpit view. Yeah, cockpit my ass. Spread my cheeks and go up deep. You can look in the cockpit up there, you asshole. <sighs> Absolutely and stupid. Oh, my God. Don't even get... I, I just... I mean, sometimes I just, uh, I, 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 that's all I got to say. That's all I can say. That's all that, that's, that's all that needs to be said, actually. Just, because if you try to explain that, you try to explain that to me, and all I hear is, it's like Charlie Brown's teacher. All I hear is, all I hear. It's all here. Stupid. Stupid. Your words mean nothing. Yet grown adults said, hey, let's do this. Let's let's make the worst control scheme imaginable. And the worst idea imaginable about, you know, looking at the stupid touchpad. Dude, get out of my face. Come on, little man. Dude, I'm doing a clip here. Now, come on. Leave daddy alone. Give me, give me my little baby boy. Mwah. You like that? Okay. Let Daddy finish this clip, okay? <sighs> this, this dog, I swear to God, every time I'm doing something, he wants to come up and give me a hug, yet let me not be doing something, say, give me a hug, he, he, he shuns me. You know, bastard beagle, mister. Anyways, so yeah, I guess that's all I got to say on that shit. They need to get the, at least get the My Nintendo account up and running. At least connect it to the freaking Switch so that when I buy some games, I can actually see the games. God for freaking bid. Because if they would connect that, they would realize, gee, he has bought these Switch games. So, and guess what? You know what you could also do if you want to be really greedy and assholery about it? I'll pay a couple bucks to get the stupid game on the Switch. 
okay, I'll pay a couple extra bucks to, to pay for that, you know, but whatever. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I got to say. Fuck you. Fuck Nintendo. I'm going to turn Nintendo shit anyway. Because I basically wrote them off. I'm not even lie. Right before the Switch came out, I wrote them the fuck off. Especially after F-Zero and everything else, I wrote them off. And they keep doing stupid shit. So it's like... I don't know. This, this whole... Uh, headset thing, this whole chat thing. I don't even get me started. I don't even know where to begin on that. It's just, oh my god. Anyways, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I don't want to talk anymore. Fuck you. Fuck them. Fuck everything. Fuck E3. Don't cock your head at me, little man. Fuck you. I don't want to look at you either. You're a bastard beagle and I don't want to talk to you. I'm not talking to you. What makes you think I'm talking to you? You're cocking your head like, what are you saying, daddy? I ain't saying shit to you, motherfucker. I ain't even looking at you. <laughs> Okay, give me a hug. Give me a hug, you little shit. Mwah. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Fuck you. No, Mr. Mr. Get away from me, dog.